G'day, g'day, here we are trying out um, Curse of, of the Dead Gods. I know it's been out for a little bit now, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. So I thought I'd give it a shot, see if it's worth uh, returning to or not, because I have quite the pile of unfinished games. So I need a way to sort of work out how to eliminate some of them. So I'm thinking maybe I just start the first 30 see how it goes, if it's interesting or not. Uh, today we'll see what this one's about. I've, I've always thought it was a bit like Darkest Dungeons, but not that I was any good at that. So we just gotta wait for this guy now. Oh, wow. Oh, you're gonna get stuck. Better run. Indie dive. Nope, you're stuck in there for good then. Okay, so what have we got? Okay, okay so an attack. We get a torch. So we can't hold a sword and a torch at the same time. Is that what we're dealing with here? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hopefully we don't have to fight in the dark. Uh, circle's not giving us anything. Okay, so we just shoot. It's gotta be a way to dual wield a fucking torch and a sword at once, right? Not a very good explorer. Yep. His arm seems to be infected. Not, not a good sign. Might need to cut it off. But you know, you get a weird thing on your arm and you continue. Never give up. Okay, the load screens don't have any stupid hints. Okay, so we just break bots by walking into them, nice and easy. They don't seem to give up anything. Okay, I guess we're stuck here now. Light and darkness. Light reveals hidden traps. Standing in darkness increases all damage you take. Fuck that. Watch out for the indicator on the bottom of your screen to know if you stand in light or darkness. Okay, that helps. Torch. Use torch action to equip and attack with your torch. Okay, so we can swing the torch then. Um, torch can spread fire to braziers or enemies. Elements on fire spread light around. Well, that's handy to know. Because that's going to come in handy when I've got to swing a sword, I guess. Dodge and stamina. What do we got? Um, use dodge action to quickly roll and evade attacks. Dodge requires stamina. Once stamina is depleted, you're fuck. Stop attacking or dodging for a short time. So what's okay after? Oh, so stamina is the same as the bullets. That makes sense. Basic combat, swing stick or sword, shoot with gun. Okay. Okay, swinging the sword doesn't use Danima though. Okay, he's got quite the fucking swing on him. Chain may attacks until you trigger a finisher. Did we get the finisher yet? No. Okay. Oh, put him on the sparks. Advanced combat. 
hold down attacks, charge attack requires one, one point, um, hold secondary for a perfect shot, chain a secondary attack after a series of main attacks, trigger a unique offhand combo. Trying to read here before you attack me. Hold my attack, then release the trigger charge attack. Man, they got a fucking reach on it for sure. Hold secondary. Oh, we're we looking for a person shot, are we? Thank god that health keeps coming on back. Okay, chain a secondary attack after a series of main attacks and trigger. Okay, that does look, look good, cool though. Advance defense. Use dodge action to evade attacks. Successfully evading an attack triggers a perfect dodge which restores points. Advance defense. Parry. Use parry action at the very last. Oh, didn't even know we had one. At the la very last moment to counter attacks. Okay, you're gonna attack me. Oh. What am I doing? Oh, I'm gonna dodge through an attack and parry. Come on then. Yeah, okay. Okay, next one I'm gonna dodge through with a perfect attack. I think that was perfect. So we got one. Fully missed that one. End of training. Um, okay, continue to the end of the room to start your journey if you want more practice. No, I can't do this. Oh, we get a treasure. Oh, damn, we got a lot of treasures. Jade rings. Jade rings are gifts from the dead gods to those who overcome the trials. Uh, bound to your character and persist even after death. Each ex exploration you can trade. Jade rings to the underworld. Okay. Oh, we get crystal skulls too. Okay. Crystal skulls are powerful artifacts so you collect from enemies. They bound to your character between explorations. You can trade them for experience. Okay. So this is just our currencies. Got it. I think lights up there. Okay. Right. What the fuck is this? Um, each temple is an assembly of rooms linked together. Each room type represents the main reward you can expect to find in it. Each time you complete a room, you can choose your path and progress through the temple. Use the map action during your exploration to consult the layout. So, what do we look for? Gold, weapons, upgrades, relics, attributes, healing, challenge, vault, champion, and unknown. Okay, so at the moment we can only get a relic. Or are we picking relic or gold? We might try a relic and see what we can find there, eh? There's no going sideways, it seems we just go forwards. The fiery halls. Exciting. Corruption. Okay, so a little bit like darkest dungeon then. Um, watch out for your corruption gauge, the bottom right of your screen. Each door you go through increases your corruption. For each full gauge, you become corrupted, and crossing the next door will curse you. Oh, okay. So is there a reason to avoid it, or...? Okay, I don't want to fight him in the dark. 
who's going to be taking damage. Whoa! Okay, this is going to be one of those games where you're going to die no matter what the start of the game is. Gotta get used to not pressing square. For some reason, I think that's dodge. Oh, they don't want to think. Okay, we took on a lot of that, I think. After defeating the enemy, the greed kill time starts. Um, chain kills to increase your greed kill count and the amount of gold released by enemies. Hitting enemies, perfect dodges, prairies. Okay. That's just a bonus thing. Um, what have I got? Is Have I got the Schofield or the Top Breaker? You're not really letting... I've got the top break. Okay, so we'll take the Schofield then. Okay, so we only carry one at a time. We don't bank up things. Okay, that's good to know, I guess. Oh, bro, we could have lit these up before. That helps a little bit. Is this a thing? Offerings. When you interact with a weapon, relic, or attribute altar, you can make an offering to the gods to claim one of the three presented boons. I don't have enough gold to pay him, so I'm guessing I'm giving him blood. Is it blood or corruption it takes? Looks like it has a corruption thing on it. So let's see how this works. If it's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, we went from, what, 70 to 20? That's 50. I don't think that was the score. Um, inventory to consult your current gear. You also have access to codex. Yeah, I did sort of find that before. Right, so we are one step in the way, and we have this. A bright day to a blacksmith's sacred sign. The light of day is a power that bows to none but the night. Okay, I hope that benefits me. So that was the art of relic. Did I find the relic there? Or not? Has a relic been found? Maybe this is the relic. 200% greed kill time limit. Okay. So I think that's a bonus. Oh! Oh, that was a gun that I left behind. behind. Okay. So we got the relic, now we can move on. Okay, gold room. So I'm still not 100% sure on how the corruption works, but we seem to be corrupted by one. Touch of Sorrow. Look to the moon to see the sun's light in its reflection. Look to the sun if you want to go blind. Your torch loses its fire and lighting properties. It shines with a dark light still revealing hidden traps. You no longer take extra damage when standing in darkness. Well, that's a plus, right? That's what we want. Each time you feel your corruption gauge, you were cursed. So I've got to max out. Okay, I must have already been pretty high, and then it looped back around, I think. Um, each time you feel you, you gauge your curse, curses add modifiers to the classic game rules and last until the end of the run. Beware the fifth and final curse, or it will strongly jeopardize your chances of success. Okay, 
So we're not really living in the light anymore. But we have like a darkened flame, which is pretty cool. Hopefully it's still... No, it doesn't even add light to things anymore, okay. Oh shit, shouldn't have been standing there. Oh! Nope, nothing's lighting on fire. Nope, okay, it doesn't work. Ooh, can we get all of that, eh? Fucking... I don't know what game... Ooh, I'll take that. Um, I don't know what game it is that I've been playing that has square as a dodge, but it is confusing me. Some 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 can't even say the word. God, Cerem ceremonial that dagger. Why is that so hard? Uh, let's give it to the gods. Let's increase some of our health. That greed killer. Oh, can we destroy this? No, okay. There's nothing else over here. Alright, sweet. Okay, so I must have it'd be nice if it told you if you found the the um thing you're in, in there to find. Um but yeah, I'm gonna need to get some more. Some more health. Oh, okay, we just. We are proper fucked then. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Um, the God of Death takes what he wants without agreement or principle. Each door imposes a payment of 300 gold. Each gold not paid is converted, converted into damage. Oof. That's an owie. So I've got maybe enough for two doors. starting to enjoy the game a lot more. Still hitting the wrong buttons to do the wrong things though. But I can definitely see myself getting more into it. These runs are pretty interesting. Um, finding out what we can do each, each run and if there's a way to avoid more corruption or not. Like there's got to be a way to avoid it. It's, it's I'm already up quite a bit, and it's not a good sign. I guess getting hit might be adding to. Get out of there! Oh, don't want that. What do you find this time? Let's see if we can remove some of that corruption. How do we get into that? Did I miss, miss a door in there? Might have to go up and around. If there's voices in this and it's playing up on the corruption, it's creepy as fuck. Well. That or I'm just hearing things. Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah, let's suss out where all these traps are, right? back around to, to that room or not? Or is that room gone? Oh, shit. 
<laughs> that was terrible. Okay, now I know that's a thing. Right, I'm a bit disappointed I can't go back though. Because I somehow missed that, that room with the gold in it. What's... Oh, we're walking into the unknown. Good stuff. We can hit with another curse. Or we didn't curse out that, that, that time. Oh, India will be glad with that. Ooh, ooh. We're gonna need some fire here soon. Oof. Okay, I've seen the corruption points hit there. Oh! Who the hell are you, Batman? Off there. Is that something I can pick up? Nope. Nope, just pick up a nice big stab in the foot. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we can grab some stuff now. I can. Okay. Main weapon, two handed spear. Okay. So what's that? 18 over 15. Not huge. Two-handed weapon. Heavy. Might have to give up some more um blood for it. Gain one corruption for each enemy killed. Probably don't want that though. But 10% of damage dealt also heals. Ooh, okay. That's not too bad. Um... So first hit pretty much. Well no, we're doing a first run. We may as well just ha have for fun with it. So let's take the blood weeper. So how do we use heavies? Um the two-handed weapon action to equip. Use the two hand oh circle, okay that's where that is. Excellent, okay. So was that the unknown then? I guess so. Okay, so we're going into a new weapon room anyway. Oof, bring on that third curse, eh? Curse me up. Um, how, how can one know when one is consumed by sadness until a mirror reveals the tragedy? Temple can switch appearance at any time and turn into mirror mode. Five perception. I don't even know how they really affect me yet. Where does perception go? I'm sure that's something that I can learn later on, right? Oh, oh, we might not survive this room though. Get out of the circle. Bad circle. Oh. oh okay, so you hit the circle. We're gonna need some of that health back, eh? Oh, okay. I didn't know what was happening then. like a super attack.
Okay, so what do, what do we get? What, what's this? So, Blood Hunter Hunt progress, 44%. What's 12 minutes? Gold, Crystal Skulls, Jade Rings. Okay, health restored, not bad. Um, damage taken, damage given. Parries, perfect rooms. That wasn't going to happen. Okay. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty fucking cool. I like it. Um, since I've been playing a, going back and playing a bit of our Rogue Legacy One, because um, now the two's out, so I went back to play that. So this is a little bit like that. So it's it's cool. Um, the underworld is a place between life and death where the dead gods slumber. Use the interaction near the central steel to access the underworld. Crystal Scales, Jade Rings to unlock new upgrades. All Underworld upgrades are persistent and will remain until after death. So what's that? It's... What do you mean take or leave? What does that mean? Is that what I'm taking into the next run? Blessings. Blessings of the dead gods are power passive abilities that will help you during subsequent explorations. Um, equip them. Yep, yep. Okay, so I haven't got. Okay, I can get this one. What's this? More fire or damage is reduced. I like that. Um, gain fury. Trap steal. More damage to enemies. Oh, it's good. Ooh, that helps out. Um, we might just stick with that one. Forsaken weaponry. Restore power to the forsaken weapons at the temple. Unlock weapons can be found in the temple in future explorations. Ooh, was so that you set yourself up for a future run? I like it. Uh, so charge attack steel crit. Passive elimination, that's gonna be helpful. Stars, knives, more knives. Is that how? Okay, we've got some guns. It's good, 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 good. How many pages we got? Okay, like three pages. Um, weapon altars. Weapon altars in the main hall offer gear before your expiration. Okay, restore altars for more choices. Upgrade altars. Okay. So one weapon altar has been restored. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more skulls for that shit. Okay, divine fire is not even gonna worry about that at the moment, but we'll do that. Uh, we can banish him. Why do we do that? Okay, so I guess you just go. Yep, take them. So that'll be on the next run. Okay. Okay. Well, I'd say it's a pretty fun game all in all very interesting um, can't wait to sort of see what more it does each run I guess is different to its its own thing uh, yeah hope you enjoyed watching it hopefully you'd like to see more of it in the future thank you very much and see you